This is John McQuay with 8541 Tactical, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about a product that we are producing. Uh, you guys that have been with us for a while know that back in the day we used to produce a line of tactical nylon products that kind of filled needs that I saw in the shooting industry. Uh, well, we are now set up to where we have an outside shop based here in the U.S. Uh, that is now producing our products for us so that we can concentrate on the video stuff and the instruction stuff and uh, we can let somebody else sew our nylon products. And the first that we've got available uh, is our rear bag. Now, there are a ton of rear bags out there. A lot of them have all kinds of crazy doodads and fasteners and straps and uh, all kinds of other stuff on it. Some of it helps for specific tasks. Some of it just gets in the way. Uh, but we wanted to bring back just the really simple bean bag. Something for a guy that maybe at this point he's just been using an old tied up uh, GI sock and uh, wants something a little bit better that's going to be a little bit more durable over time. And that's really the need that uh, we saw this bag to fill. Uh, it's a really simple uh, square bean bag and we put a one inch webbing loop on the side of it. So if you've got a carabiner, uh, you can just simply snap your carabiner into it and you can either snap this onto your rifle sling or snap it, snap it onto a pack strap or uh, like I've done in the past, I'll clip it onto my uh, H harness and when I drop into position, I can throw that bag up underneath the shoulder and it's uh, there ready to go. Uh, so it gives you a little bit of versatility and gives you a really easy way to attach this to the outside of your pack. Uh, now it is square and it gives you really two basic uh, situations where you can use it. Throw it flat underneath your buttstock and get really low. So if you need to take an up angle shot, you can get the buttstock nice and low without actually having it on the deck. Uh, if you want a little bit more elevation, if you're taking a flat shot and your target's at the same elevation that you are, uh, really easy to flip it up on its side. If you want more than that, you can just kind of squeeze those ears together and get up a little bit higher. You can turn it sideways and get up even higher than that. Uh, so really a bunch of different options uh, without getting really crazy on the size or getting crazy on uh, the additional straps and whatnot that you have on it. Uh, we tried to keep the price point on these guys low. They run at $18, so you can afford to get a couple if you mainly shoot off the bench and you want to be able to stack them up, that kind of thing. Uh, and again, they are made in the U.S., uh, 1,000 denier Cordura nylon, so this thing's going to last a good while. And they are filled with poly pellets, so they are the hard plastic pellets in here. And they're kind of irregular, so when you get the rifle set in, uh, it tends to settle down, and I think it locks in really well. Uh, and it still gives a little bit of a substantial feel to it. It's not as light as the styrene pellets, uh, but I think it, it feels really nice in the hand, feels really nice to use. So you can pick these guys up from Triad Tactical. They are our distributor at this time. So again, we can concentrate on doing what we do and uh, we can get a good product out to you in a timely manner. Uh, we'll leave a link for Triad Tactical down in the comment section below. Uh, these are available in a variety of colors right now. Uh, so head on over to Triad and check it out. Uh, they also have a couple of our other nylon products that we'll be talking to you about in the uh, next couple of weeks. Uh, feel free to browse through and check those out as well. And until next time, get out and shoot!